Okay, so we'll start off with our standard question, um, which is actually, I think, one of the most interesting questions, which is how did you become a feminist? Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about how you um, developed an identity as a, as a feminist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I've been thinking about this some, because I think there was this sort of watershed moment, mm -hmm. you know, um, and I am of a generation that, that, you know, that grew up with sort of feminism to some degree in the water. Um, but not necessarily in my family, not necessarily in my household. Mm -hmm. um, not that, not that it was. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't have a you know a mom who was sort of on the front lines, of the, right. you know, um, or a father who was on the front lines of the the women's movement. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, but I think I grew up in an environment where social issues mattered. Okay. You know, and um, and I think that just kind of made me you know um, being Jewish. I think mm -hmm. you know you sort of. Uh, it, you know, that is part of your identity and just sort of being, you know, atten or can be part of your identity, you know, just sort of being more attuned and primed to, um, you know, to issues of social discrimination. And mm -hmm. um, so I always, you know, I can't remember a time where, mm -hmm. where um, women's issues didn't matter to me, gender mm -hmm. issues didn't matter to me, but I, I don't, you know, but it probably wasn't until college so I called okay. myself a feminist. Um, but I do remember, sort of, but I think a few earlier things happened before then okay. so, um, that made it very easy to just, when I got to college, mm -hmm. you know, say, mm -hmm. well, of course I would be part of the, mm -hmm. you know, feminist group on campus, that that, you know, would be, you know, the first place that I would gravitate towards, okay. or maybe, the, you know. Um, uh, and one was that, you know, I, I had this... Um, this fabulous English teacher mm -hmm. in high school. I mean, people like this really matter. Yeah. And you know, he was somebody who you know had been involved in the civil rights movement, mm -hmm. and you know, and that was you know, mm -hmm. even though it's a literature class, you know, writing class um, shaped a lot of uh, you know uh, of the classroom environment. Mm -hmm. And so we had a project that it was sophomore year honors English, and we'd go into the city. I lived in Connecticut. We'd go into the city, and um, and everybody had to become an expert on. One little thing. Okay. Um, I mean, when I say little thing, it could have been manholes. Okay. You know? Wow. <laughs> or water towers. Oh, you know, you had, and you had to learn the history of it. Oh wow. Uh, it was fascinating. Yeah. And you know, my uh, mom went to NYU. Okay. My, you know, both my, my family is from New York, and I was like, well, maybe I'll do something related to, you know, something in the village. You know, you have, you know, you're sophomore in high school. You don't really, you know, yeah. late eighties, you know, um, early nineties, maybe late eighties. Um, so something in the village, you know, mm -hmm. and I start doing my research, my mom's talking about the Triangle Fire, I'm trying yeah. to figure out what to do. Somehow in my, you know, pre-internet research, yeah. you know, yeah. I come across uh, a, a brand new school, mm -hmm. or a new, maybe two years old, called the Harvey Milk School. Oh, and, um, mm -hmm. uh, and so that... Um, and I, you know, I was like, oh, this sounds interesting. And it was a school for, you know, LGBT, although I think back then uh -huh. it was just called, you know, yeah. gay youth. Yeah. Um, yeah. And who, uh, and it was maybe two rooms in the Hedrick Martin Institute. Oh. And, you know, and most of the kids who were at the school, you know, were homeless, mm -hmm. were, um, and had gotten there, you know, from, you know, pretty, had, you know, pretty traumatic um, yeah. paths to, okay. to, to arriving at the school, um, you know, had faced a lot of teasing or abuse, violence, um, and, uh, and I just became really yeah. concerned, interested, and I was like, I think this is going to be my project. Um, they, they actually did a great job, um, uh, you know, they had comic books that really sort of spoke to the issues of yeah. um, suicide, you know, suicidal ideation, uh, violence, all, the, all sorts of things, like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that, um, you know, and so I think in some ways that was probably both my introduction to, psycho you know, to psychology at a, oh. at a young age, um, and then also to thinking about, um, you know, issues of discrimination, marginalization, mm -hmm. and sexual identity. Um, and, and somehow that wasn't, a, you know, to me that was, this is a really important issue, of course my peers will think it's important. Yeah. Um, it didn't feel like a statement uh -huh. to me to, you know, to, to take on a project like that. Okay. And, um, but then it, as it came closer, um, so I'm looking at my project, I'm really excited about it, I'm really, you know, um, uh, learning so much and I think expanding my, um, my, my worldview, my understanding. It's really, you know, challenging, you know, I mean, perhaps in, perhaps in that, I don't, I didn't recognize it as such, but, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. recognizing my own privilege, how lucky oh, I was that, you know, yeah. that, you know, you, you know, and you're, if I were to come out, you know, mm -hmm. if, that, if this mm -hmm. were something to me, well, how would my parents react yeah. as compared with these kids? And, um, but anyway, I think, um, I hadn't anticipated 
that there would be any issues in my class around this. And so as it got closer and we were preparing, what we would do was actually we would stand on the street with a bullhorn and um, give our paper about the history of, our, of whatever topic we were doing. Wow. So as it got a little closer, um, my, I hit, there were a few students in my class who were like, you know, we're just basically making homophobic comments. I don't even remember the specific details. And, and I was like, okay, I can't, you know, I'm, this is a safe space for students. I'm not going to take my classmates who are now right. potentially going to say something, right. you know, um, that would make that an unsafe space. Um, and uh, so that was my, yeah. you know, so just having to navigate that even, mm -hmm. you know, in the end we went to Stonewall, which was also great because I, you know, again, just at that, there, there was no history of, you yeah. know, of the gay, you know, yeah. gay movement yeah. in, um, in my classes up right. till then. So even right. just, you know, having to choose another venue, what would be a meaningful venue that, huh. yeah, um, so that was quite interesting. So I think that um, huh. early event probably also laid some, some seeds. Yeah. Uh, and then all the other, I think that history and then um, growing up at a time, and I'm not sure that the time is any different, but the height of, um, of at least media attention around eating disorders and right. my best friend having a very, very serious you know, yeah. eating disorder. And, right. um, and, so, and I think perhaps by even late in high school and even my own sort of struggles mm -hmm. around body mm -hmm. issues and eating issues, yeah. um, beginning to identify that as, as a feminist issue. Okay. So I think those okay. two things yeah. were probably major influences that at least when I got to college, yeah. um, you know, maybe yeah. this is something I want to become involved with. There were a lot of contradictions there, though, in that mm -hmm. there was a group of us who were, you know, I was in a sorority, and everyone in the sorority was in the feminist organization, and we would talk about why we're not allowed to have parties in our, yeah. <laughs> in yeah. our sorority house, and eventually I left okay. the sorority, um, okay. you know, because of those contradictions that ultimately very comfortable to me. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, huh. so there was a lot of living with contradictions. Yeah. And then, you know, and then I think the story of of becoming a feminist really connects with uh, perhaps other questions that you'll ask because it's, yeah. it's so connected to my own interests in psychology Absolutely. that they developed together. Yeah. It wasn't, um, it wasn't first, you know, well, I was already such a feminist and then I just right. got psychology. I think. They kind of yeah. uh, grew up together. Yeah.